Hello everyone and welcome to another short tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to connect your Canon EOS R3 with your mobile phone. In this case I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro Max for that. By the way it has become a little bit more complicated. It was more easy to transfer files from your Canon EOS R6 or your Canon EOS R or Canon EOS R5 onto your phone but I will show you a little trick how it works. That's the Canon EOS R3. Here's my iPhone 11 Pro Max, 256 gigabytes. Make sure you turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Go into the settings of the Canon EOS R3 and make sure to tap on that center point here, which is that arrow. And from here on, make sure airplane mode is off, network settings are enabled and tap on Bluetooth settings, smartphone, pairing. If you have a Samsung phone, Sony, Huawei, Xiaomi, make sure you tap on Android. If you're using an iPhone like I do, make sure you tap on iOS. Skip that part with the QR code and tap on set. You will find a nickname now and I recommend to download the Camera Connect app from Canon, which looks at the moment like this at the beginning of 2022. It's for free and there are no extra costs involved. So, Camera Connect would like to use Bluetooth for new connections. Once you're in the app, there is a pop-up. Choose a camera for pairing, which is this one here. And it, uh, this name matches to the name on the display. So make sure you select that one. Sometimes it doesn't show up at the first time. Just close the app and verify that your Bluetooth is enabled. Say pair. And now you need to confirm that on your camera as well. Connecting, please wait. Okay, now the camera is connected to our phone. By the way, if you don't enable Wi uh, the network settings, you cannot transfer files onto your smartphone. The phone only allows you then to control the camera, but it doesn't allow you to transfer files as far as I noted that. So you can choose camera settings. In here you can change, for instance, the date and the time. Connection established. Sometimes it takes about 10 to 20 seconds. As you can see, it's all in here, location information, Bluetooth. Auto transfer might be quite interesting if you would like to transfer all the files automatically onto your phone. And images on camera, that's the most important point for us at the moment. I took already some pictures. As you can see, they're all taken in RAW. You have a filter down here, so you can choose uh, which images or um, videos you would like to see. Just choose the date and here file types, for instance stills, raw images or movies if you only want to see these ones. Let me scroll down a little bit and we are now selecting three of our favorite images and download them onto our phone. Now, as you can see, we all took uh, raw files, but it's now transferring JPEG files only, either in reduced size or original size. I will now select original size. And if you don't want to have these kind of informations displayed anymore, just uh, make a tick here, use these settings from now on. Now it's transferring these three files onto my phone. X that window out and now we come to the, uh, now let's go to settings and here is the point you need to select if you want to have the raw files onto your mobile devices. Maybe you're working with your iPad and you have the Canon camera connect app on the iPad or on to your phone and you would like to do mobile raw editing, you need to select these ones here. Um, videos is something else. My phone doesn't support 4K50. 
um, with the codec that the Canon is using and it's not supporting raw video either. So I cannot really use these video files. That's something else with full HD clips, they will work, but 4K 50 doesn't work or 4K 60 doesn't work on my phone. It might work on your phone though. On the other side, there is the remote live view shooting, which is quite interesting because we can take a picture straight from our phone and sometimes, for instance, the flower here is a little bit too close to the camera, I guess then it indicates that the square is red. The Buddha is a little bit further away, so you can take a picture of that and focus on the Buddha. Down here, if you tap on the arrow, you can change all the settings like the shutter speed, the aperture, and of course the ISO. We don't want to expose that now. And for instance, you can select single shot, high speed shooting, timer, focus field, subject tracking. It's all on. Um, you can select a different white balance. And uh, with the remaining storage of my CFAST Express card, I will be able to take more than 10,055 pictures and here's the battery indication of our camera. If you want to go in video mode, nothing easier than that, then that uh, tap on the uh, video camera. In here you have the same settings except for video. You can choose between the resolution and the different frame rates. Also raw video is available down here. As I said, it, my phone doesn't support it. You can select a different shutter speed, aperture, ISO, Here's the balance level of the microphone. Servo AF is now enabled. White balance down here and focus field here. If you want to start to record a video, nothing easier than that. That's the recording symbol. We are now recording already for six seconds. If you want to stop that video, tap on that button once again. If you're in your library, you will find the pictures we just transferred onto the phone. If you're not happy with any of these pictures, you can delete them from the storage of your phone. And if you would like to transfer these files now to your friends via email, iMessage, Telegram, uh, Dropbox, Instagram, you need to select that point down here but make sure you're now connected to a, to a mobile network or to a Wi-Fi hotspot because otherwise it doesn't work. Since the phone is still connected to the EOS R3 and the EOS R3 doesn't have a SIM card to send these files anywhere else. So everyone, thanks for watching. If you do have any further questions, make sure you leave a comment below. If you would like to support my channel, feel free to follow me on Telegram and Instagram and hit that subscribe button. And um, the link to that camera and the lens or the memory card is listed also in the video description below. If you purchase any of my gear, via the link listed in the video description below. You're supporting my channel as well. And now I say goodbye. Tschüss from Frankfurt am Main, Germany. Ciao, ciao.